show me your steak. I'll show you my steak. I'm the best mistake that ever happened, let me tell you. Anyway, let me digress. I'll come back on a completely different subject. That sound, yeah, yeah. Take these walls and rip them, rip them down. Take my and slip them, slip them. cooking a steak. I have no idea if I'm in focus or not. So I'm not exactly certain if you're getting all this. Down there. I guess maybe. But, uh, here. Let's open up some F stops. So down there is a grill. It appears to be in focus. This is my response to the show me your steak challenge. Nobody actually challenged me or tagged me. I'm just gonna pick up the ball and fucking run with it. And I'll tell you why. Because the big thing that comes up is the state of mental health. Hey man, I trying to do shit in today's fucking world. It's goddamn crazy. So I thought I'd as I show you my steak. It's not a great steak. It's not a great steak. It's actually a flank steak. It only cost me seven bucks. Two bucks on it. Get vacuum sealed though. Uh -huh. Yeah. to adjust for color later because as you can see it is pretty much close to sunset well it is sunset here in the Okanagan Valley and it's only just after four but so that's my steak so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go and put stuff on it down there we have a grill pull the fucking focus on it yeah, I don't have a fancy camera that does autofocus. Down there you can see that's the grill that she's going to go upon. She's heating up nice. And there's my steak. Alright, let's go put some stuff on this. Alright. I'll just bump up the ISO again here so you can actually see in here. There we go. Sorry guys quality might be a bit shit but all right so what we're gonna do now just gonna, we're gonna we're gonna put some seasoning on this so just gonna, 
Anybody who thinks that you have to fucking overdo it with the seasoning needs to get their fucking head examined. All you need is simple S and P. I do notice that even some lovely Americans like to use the Montreal steak spice and there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I require more than one hand. Probably. Yeah. The grill is fired up. The grill's doing a great job. So. Here's our steak. I hijacked some Himalayan salt. I guess it's kind of hard to tell, eh? All right, whatever. Don't worry, it's gonna be great. All right, so the meat is a bit cold. I just picked it up from the grocery store. Thought I'd do this on a whim. Um, I don't know why I'm not in front of the camera. I guess I'll put myself in front of the camera for the majority of this bit. Um, but, uh, Yeah. Men's mental health. What an issue. A man's mental health is a lot better with steak, to be fair. For one. So, on that note... that up. I'm not a bush crafty guy. I'm just a survivor. In fact, I'm really good at not dying. I'm 44 years old and I've lived pretty much just about everywhere. Um, can't say it's been easy. Uh, I'm not a normal type of guy. Things don't come easy for people like me. Uh, you have a tendency to have to work hard just to survive day by day, and it's not for lack of trying. It's not for lack of trying the other thing. I do things that nobody else would ever try because. I feel more comfortable when I face adversity. So I've always lived alone. I've always been on my own. And I never really paid any thought uh, to it. Um, I was just glad. And I considered myself lucky for the fact that I'm not leaving anyone else behind. I, I'm not, I don't have any illegitimate children or wife or, or, or anyone that I've left behind uh, picking up my pieces. Uh, this has been an absolute journey for myself. Uh, 
many of you don't know me, uh, those of you that do probably are aware that I just travel and I just do whatever it takes to survive and get through my daily ordeal and how does that affect my mental health? Well, This is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Go this way now. Those crisscrosses. Yeah. All right. So. What got me here to this place? In light of my new channel called The Thought Project. I decided to ask a question. In light of my new channel called The Thought Project. Start to tell people stories and allow people to tell their own stories. Because I figured, you know, there's this thing called the truth community which is absolutely mired in fucking bullshit, uh, pretense, uh, horrible relations, and worsely, um, this sense of social entitlement because you know some of these people believe that they're doing God's work and that they're you know not better than others but because they're aware they have uh, a sense of false entitlement really uh, which you know I've always been uncomfortable with and I fell into the trap myself several times and this has a lot to do with my own mental health while the steak is cooking by the way it's, it's almost at freezing it's about two degrees above zero right now maybe three but I digress um, yeah as a species we have a fundamental need as men to... People will say that procreation is a big drive, which it is, but I mean, that's a no brainer. It's, it's ridiculous to even fucking talk about. The other things that matter though is where you as a provider you need to provide. Whether you are or not is not the question, but you need to as an organism, as a male. I'm not going to get into fucking genders and all this other bullshit. It's not the fucking scope of this conversation. But as a red-blooded male, you have to fucking provide. And if you don't, then you start to feel a little bit... Uh, You feel like you're not exactly pulling your weight. Uh, something might be itching the back of your brain saying, oh, I need to do more, I need to do this, I need to do that. Even though you're doing a fantastic job, given the allotment of your day-to-day -day life, you're still pushing it. say 
of mine. And invariably, however you regard it, I don't think it really matters. I think the point that I'm trying to stay is that a guy just needs to feel like he's useful. stuff what have you but like it's it's not rocket science we're not that complicated we are but we're not it's actually quite simple um, so many of us are painted as idiots uh, in jar heads or this or that or macho look I, fuck all that name calling bullshit you know at the end of the day a guy is a guy is a guy and today what the hell is white is probably gonna say the fucking who knows what's because of the issues based on this everything from feminism to all this other him to be today in today's day and age is to be fucking white and heterosexual and a guy that's a guy with a penis and two balls or one barring but you know hang on I gotta check on the camera <laughs> I hope this is Oh yeah, look, it's it's gone. All right, let's let's let's, let's see how this fucking steak is doing. Oh. Are you kidding me? It went out again. This steak is the longest one I've ever cooked because I got shitty goddamn grill. But it's nice to spend some time with you guys on the roadside, hanging out in my truck. getting close to the end of fucking the video here so I'm gonna cut it short be right back for the wrap up yeah baby that's mistake Oh, sorry. The Casey Clark Country Countdown. Entertains the country lap. 
Journey Zone. The biggest country songs. No not. You're listening to the Casey Clark Country Countdown for chances. Escape into a world of gaming entertainment. Must be 19 plus to play. If you gamble, use your game sense. And for Kelowna Ford Lincoln on Enterprise Way or KelownaFord.com. Oh, yeah. Black Friday is coming, and so are the deals at Melt Mineral Spa. Treat yourself or someone special with a facial, massage, pedicure, and more. Experience total relaxation. So, going back to things I was saying about men's mental health to summarize with the steak to be fair because I guess there's something symbolic about hunting and gathering and uh, and all that stuff it's funny I'm recording on my phone now my camera is running out of juice but uh, it also doesn't pick up so well at night and uh, well my cell phone actually has a little bit of a light on it so hey hey it works whatever the only thing that would make this steak much better yeah you guessed it what else defines us as men beer yes beer well I'm not going to condone breaking any laws because I'm actually at the side of a fucking highway out in the country it's pretty gorgeous actually if you think about it Well, can you do? I'm gonna let this bad boy get a little bit more. Oh, yeah. oh, this is gonna be a gorgeous thing. Put that down and let that do its thing. while oh yeah this steak looks amazing rare as I would like it but we're on the side of the road and this means a happy man
just so you're aware, there's perfect pink in there, a little bit of blue. It's absolutely perfectly cooked. Anyway, as I said, even in sub zero degree fucking weather, a man can feel like a fucking man. Side of the road, anywhere he goes. I highly recommend it, yeah. Give things to think through. Push through any bullshit that you have to go through. Because nine times out of ten, if you're feeling like you're lacking, it's mostly because you feel unaccomplished. And you know what? You can beat that. Small little goals every fucking day. Anyway, I thought I'd show you my steak. And I hope it's advice. Uh, I, I know I didn't get flagged by anybody, but I'm going to flag some people. Check it out in the next 30 seconds. All right, guys. Peace out. Much love. And it's my pleasure to do this. Who doesn't like a good steak? Even if it is fucking cold. All right, guys. Much love. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. If you do, name it after me. All right. I'm out.